Good afternoon, guys. Uh, this is a quick video to explain how to do reports, KPIs, and printing from Simulate. All right, first up on my screen, I have the Liftgate 1 problem. Um, I'm not going to go through that just now, but okay, you can see that it works. We speed things up a bit. And all the way until it finishes. Right. Now at this point you want to uh, do the output of the, the results. For that you go to the results manager. You click on the arrow, you'll see a couple of things there, but don't worry about that. All you need to do is Click on the picture and you will see all the results. I'm just scrolling down. All right, let's go up, up to the top. On this, you will notice you'll notice there's auto arrival, assembly, paint shop, power assembly, packing and shipping. And that's it. All right, let's just have a look there. You'll notice that um, the one thing that's missing, one thing that's missing is the services shop. That is because I've deliberately deleted all the output. So I'm just going to click OK. If I double click on services shop, It'll open up with results. You click on the results. And this is how we do the KPIs. When you see the big black arrow with the R, you right click on the value that you want to add to your list. And you'll see it turns to bold. I want that one as well. And that. And that. And let's add stopped in there as well. You'll see that every time I do that, it comes up with a little information window. Okay. I click OK. And I click OK again. And now I can go back home. I select the results menu. And if I open that up, you should see the services station somewhere. There's our auto arrival assembly and we scroll down. There we go, there's services shop and all the items that I've added. Now what you'll notice is that the order in which you load those KPIs is the order in which it appears on the, the report but you have the facility to move those where you want them to. Okay, so services shop number completed jobs is now up there, but I can put it back down there as well. All right, that's for this run. If I want to see the history, I click on the KPI history, and that's my latest run. These are runs I've done earlier, so we don't need to look at those. All right, let's scroll down all the way. And down there, you'll see I've got services shop information. Okay. It doesn't show any data because I only added those after doing the run. So we can click OK. Run this again. Reset, run. And... There we go. If we select the results now, go to KPI history, you'll see the fourth run has been added. And scrolling down, you'll see now I've got some details there. All right. Some of you have asked about printing. Before I do printing, I'm going to show you what you need to do 
prior to your test. So just click out of that, go to your file, select print, and there you'll see print setup. Now for the test, you're not going to print to a, to a printer, you're going to print to PDF. So those are all the printers I have listed on my computer. You should see something that looks like that Microsoft print to PDF. You choose that and you can go and change the settings, but it doesn't give you much. There's advanced, you can change a couple of those things. I'm not going to do that now. Click OK that now. So let's go back to that results man uh, manager. Right, in order to print that um, those KPIs, you can go to KPI history, you hit that button and nothing happens. So this has come from some experience. Don't try and print that. Go back to the original KPIs sheet and hit the print button there. Give you the print progress. And we just wait for that. Once that's done, it gives you, it asks you where you want to print that file to. Remember, this is going to print as a PDF now. So it's really just creating a PDF print out of your uh, results in the background there. All right, so you find a folder, give it a name. I'll just call it test one results. Remember where you're saving it to, save and give it some time, it's done. I can now go to that directory and find it there and that's where you will submit it to Moodle. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Okay, so if you have any more questions, put it on the Moodle or on the, sorry, on the, the Teams chat and I'll pick it up there. All right. Have a good day. Bye, guys.